Hey everybody, Dave here with Wags Automotive again, and I'm disassembling this motor and I thought of something you guys might want to know. So let me teach you a little something here today. Okay, so this motor is a used motor, but it's a low mileage good used motor. It's in good condition, uh, it had great oil pressure, it had good compression. So I know there's nothing wrong with it that I know of, but I'm still tearing it apart uh, to verify everything. Uh, like again, I'm, as I said before, I'm not going to pull the pistons out of the cylinder, at least I don't plan on it, unless I take the oil pan off and I find something I don't like. But the way this engine ran and the, and the oil pressure it had, I'm not expecting that at all. I haven't removed the head yet. I'll do that here in a few minutes. But I want to show you something. If you have an engine, say you have a car and you want to drop a small block Chevy engine in it, or uh, you know whatever, and or any engine, a small block Ford, a big block Ford, a you know Mopar, whatever and you buy a used engine and the guy says, hey man, this is a good engine, it's low miles, whatever, and you look at it, it looks pretty clean like this one does, and you tell it's a good engine, and he says, you know, this is what I got in, I got these heads on it, I got this cam in and I got these pistons in it, all that stuff, and you say to yourself, and maybe you can even hear it run, you know, that, that'd be the best, best option is to hear it run, do a compression test on it, check the oil pressure and all that, like I did on this one, um, you know, 40 pounds of oil pressure at idle when it's hot, uh, 150 to 170 pounds of compression in all eight cylinders, so I'm really good there. Um, that'd be the, the best option for you. And you decide, well, I want to put this engine in my car, but I want to take it apart and look at it first just to verify everything, you know. Because, I mean, a gasket kit's like 100 bucks. So you tear an engine apart like I'm doing here, and you look at it and make sure everything's good, you know, clean everything up, put it back together. But the one thing you want to do is you want, you know, you, you want to check out the camshaft and you want to possibly reuse the camshaft. So this is a very important thing you have to do if you want to reuse your camshaft. If you, if you don't do this, you're going to destroy your cam and you're probably going to ruin your engine in the process. So let me show you here real quick what, what you need to do. Okay, so let me get you up in here for, real quick. So as you can see, I have pulled all of the lifters out of their bores. Okay, they're all out of their bores like that sitting in the bore they came out of. Now it's very important on a new camshaft, or on a, no, I'm sorry, on a used engine, if you are, let me get this set back up again here so you guys can see me. If you are, oops, hopefully I didn't mess that up too bad. All right, if you are, um, maybe move it a little bit more, I don't know. Okay, if you are uh, wanting to reuse a camshaft in an engine or you have the possibility of thinking you might want to, one thing you want to do is you want to make sure you put all the lifters back in the position they came out of. Because a lifter on an engine, a lifter, as it, it, it moves up and down, it opens your valves, right? But it also rotates, okay? It rotates, it sits a little bit off center on the cam lobe, and as, it, as the engine turns, as the camshaft turns, it rotates this lifter. It continually rotates it. So there's a couple things you want to do to this lifter when you pull them out. First thing you want to do is you want to always look at the bottom of them, okay? So if you look at the bottom of this one, try to get up here where you can see it. You can see it's nice and flat, and it looks fine. Lifters actually have a little bit of a dish to them. I say it's flat, but it's actually not. It's got a little bit of a dish, and, and that's what helps the lifter rotate while it's in the bore. So it's got a little bit of a dish to it. But what you want to look for, you want to make sure that there's not... Uh, and and, and I, when I say dish, what I mean is it's concave, okay? It, it's, it's upward. It's got an upward... Uh, dish to it. What you want to look for when you pull these lifters out, you want to make sure there's not a, oh, you know what, what? I said that wrong. I'm sorry. Convex. It's got a convex surface to it. So it's, it's, it's uh, shaped in an upward area or most upward uh, position here. Uh, the top, the bottom of the lifter is, is rounded like this. Okay. So it's convex. So what you want to look for, the first thing you want to look for, you want to make sure um, that there's no that they're not concave. If they're concave, it means they're worn to the point where they're damaging the camshaft and is putting um, metal inside your engine. That's a bad thing. I've already checked all these. I pulled them out, cleaned them, and checked them, and they're all good. Okay, so there's no there's no concave uh, surface on any of these lifters. So they're all good. So I know I can reuse this camshaft. Okay, and like I said, this motor only has like three or four thousand miles on it, so I'm not surprised. But I've also heard of guys who did not break an engine in properly and in just a few hundred miles they destroyed the camshaft well then you got to tear the engine apart clean all the metal out of it put it all back together and that's a nightmare um but anyhow and i've got one i got to do that too so uh that's the first thing you want to do you want to make sure that that the bottom of the lifters are not concave not worn bad so that these all look good i think they're okay 
As a matter of fact, I know they're okay because the engine ran great. Okay. Now, here's the next thing you want to do. It's very important. All right. So, in order to put these back where they're supposed to be, obviously, they all look exactly the same. If I take them all out and just throw them in a box, I don't know where they came from. So, what I got to do here is I got to mark these out of which bore they came out of, right? So, I want to mark them and I know exactly where to put them back. Now, what I could do is I could, okay, so this one came out of the front bore on this side of the engine, okay? So I could say, okay, that's the right front. So I could mark this one R1, right? For right number one, right number two, all the way through to, to right number eight. And then this side would be left one through eight, okay? I could do that, but I don't recommend doing that. And the reason I don't recommend doing that is because when I'm saying right, am I talking about the right from this side, right and left? Or am I talking about the right from this side? This is right, this is left. Well, you know what? If I mark them right and left, I might think that, that this one goes over here instead of over there. But So that's a bad idea. So here's a better idea. So here's what you want to do. You want to take some masking tape, just a plain old masking tape, and where's my Sharpie at? Um, let's see, what did I do with it? Well, I had a Sharpie. Oh, here it is over here. Hold on. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to take some masking tape and a Sharpie, and I want to take some, some cleaner, brake cleaner or carb cleaner. In this case, I got carb cleaner, which is fine. I want to clean out the bottom of this, get all the oil residue off there, just a little spray like that. I want to wipe that off, get it clean, make sure it's nice and, and clean. And I want to put a piece of tape on it, okay? All right, get this tape off of here. Put a little piece of tape on there, just like that. I know it's going to stick because it's clean. I'm going to stick that tape on there just like that. Okay. Now, what am I going to do? What, how am I going to mark it so I know I'm putting it back in the right place? Here's what I'm going to do. When you're sitting in the car, you always have what's called the driver's side. Okay, the driver's side and the passenger side, right? The, or the drinker's side and the captain's side, as some people like to call it. But anyhow, the driver's side and the passenger side. That never changes. It's always the same, right? This is always the driver's side and this is always the passenger side because... When you're in the car and you're sitting behind the steering wheel, the driver's side is always the left side of the car and the passenger side is always the right side of the car. So what I do is I mark them driver's side and passenger side. So this one's gonna be D1 through D8 and these are gonna be P1 through P8. So I, when I put this engine back together and I put these lifters back in the prospective bores, I know I got it right every single time because this is the driver's side, it never changes. This is the passenger side, it never changes. So if you guys want to reuse an engine, or I'm sorry, reuse a camshaft, this is the way you mark the lifters to ensure that they go back in the right, right place. Now, if you haven't done that and you pull all the lifters out, or maybe you get an engine that's disassembled, the lifters are already out of it, but the cam's still in it and it's a good cam, you got two choices. Number one, you can throw the lifters in the cam in the trash because if you just throw the old lifters in there, most likely you're gonna have at least one lifter failure, probably more than one, because these lifters actually wear in a pattern that matches the lobe on the cam. So if you put them in the wrong bore, they're not gonna match that pattern anymore. They've already worn in, They've, the, the engine's already been broke in. These lifters are already worn to that cam. Eventually you're gonna wear a lobe out or maybe several lobes out on the cam. So that's a bad idea. So the other op one option you have, like I said, is to throw the cam in the garbage and put a new cam in. The other option you have, which I wouldn't recommend, but in a pinch you can do it, especially like in this situation where the, where the engine's fairly new, the cam's fairly new. What I could do if these lifters were uh, not marked and they were already out of the engine, I could go buy a brand new set of lifters and put in here. But then I'd have to go through the break-in procedure again when I start the engine up because the break-in procedure uh, helps seat the rings, but more importantly, it helps um, seat the, the lifters in the bores and seat the lifters to the cam. That's, that's the number one reason for break-in engine braking is to, to get the lifters seated properly on the cam. 90% um, of the time, 95% of the time, if you brake an engine, you don't do it properly, you're gonna destroy the cam. You're usually not gonna destroy anything else, um, but you, you will destroy the cam, 95% of the time. I mean, there's probably times when people don't do a proper engine brake in, and you know they may be okay with the cam. But and if you don't know what engine brake-in procedure is, when I build the engine for my Malibu, my 350 I got sitting back at the house, when I build that, I'll, I'll do a braking procedure and I'll show you guys what that means. But anyhow, for now, just remember, if you're gonna save the lifters 
and you want to save the cam out of your engine, clean them real good, put a piece of masking tape on them, and this one here is going to be marked D1. So I know that's driver's side, number one lifter. So I don't have to worry about right and left. I don't have to worry about messing it up. I know every one of my lifters is going to be correct. So I can take these and put them in a box now. And when I go to put them back in the engine, I know exactly where they go. So guys, that's just my tip for today. I hope it helps you guys. If you're ever building an engine or you get a used engine and you don't want to have to replace a bunch of parts in it, you want to save the cam, this is the way to do that. Okay. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to make another video here real quick where I'm going to pull the heads off this thing because I haven't done that yet. I've got the bolts out, but I haven't got the heads off. But I'm going to pull the heads off and we're going to see what's underneath it. I don't know. I haven't had this engine apart. I bought it just like this. So I haven't even had the pan off or nothing. So we're going to find all that out today. All right. So that's, for, that's good for now. Uh, this is my tip for the day. If you're going to mark your lifters, you're going to save them. Mark them driver and passenger side, not left and right. Because I guarantee you, sometime down the road, you're going to screw it up. So there's my tip. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.